the one. Yay, thank you. Wow, another vlog starting at the desk. Will she ever leave? I don't know, probably not. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to start off today's vlog. As you guys saw, I went and got my nails done this morning because I'm actually going on a trip tomorrow. My stress, rel my stress level is kind of like at max right now because I have no information on this trip. I don't know when I'm flying out. I don't know what airline, don't know where we're staying. Literally, it's all a mess, um, but I'm excited, so you'll have to check back the next vlog to see where I'm going, but basically today is just like a prep day. I, like I said, got my nails done. I'm going to go get my second session of laser hair removal in about 20 minutes I have to leave. Yeah, just kind of finishing up some videos. I posted two videos today, a vlog and a main channel video, so that's really good. I feel really like productive in that sense, and I just exported another video to go up on the weekend. So there's lots going on, lots happening. I feel very like busy. Oh, I also had a bulletproof coffee for the first time this morning, which is exciting because I've been waiting for the stuff to come in the mail forever. But if you guys don't watch Ali, I'll have her video linked down below. She basically explains all the things that she uses and it's basically just like a healthy breakfast alternative. It's supposed to give you a lot of energy. There's a police car outside my building. Anyway, so I tried it for the first time. It tasted pretty good. It's something I could probably get used to and yeah So I'll see if it gives me extra energy. I did just have some oatmeal, but it's almost one o'clock now So yeah, I am trying to like eat healthier and just be more mindful of my choices So I just really wanted to try the bulletproof coffee and it was pretty good So hopefully it works out and then um, I continue to make it so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. That was like a long long ramble But I feel like I haven't chatted with you guys in a while. So I wanted to update you and yeah, the next thing we're doing is going to get a uh, laser hair removal. I need to go prep my armpits by shaving and wiping off the deodorant because you have to have very clean armpits. Was that TMI? I don't know. <laughs> guys I'm not gonna lie like it actually in the moment and hurt it feels fine now it's just really cold but like it's pretty painful for like the minute that they're doing it I I'm glad I wore my hair in a bun because I was like gripping onto it really really hard which was kind of funny but the lady was super super sweet I come back in 10 weeks and get another session and I saw such good results last time that I feel like the more I do it it's just gonna get better and better my underarms are so light compared to what they were when I started so I'm really really happy with my with, her, with my results <laughs> and I'm definitely gonna be using the cream I didn't use it last time which is probably pretty bad but I'm definitely gonna use it this time because I did experience some pain afterwards like a couple days after I got it done last time so I'll definitely use this to prevent that this time. I came home to a couple of packages so I figured I would open them with you guys. It's from the body shop. I love the body shop. These are so heavy. They sent the spa of the world French grapeseed scrub and the Ethiopian green coffee cream. I love their scrubs. I use them like all the time in the shower. Oh, oh my god oh my god don't get it on my carpet oh my god stress what do I do oh my god okay oh jeez oh my god okay brb I think the carpet is safe but oh my god I was not expecting it to be that liquidy because it's a scrub but I guess because of the heat and being in the FedEx truck oh my god oops then there's another little thing this is the Amazonian savior multi-purpose balm it says it improves the appearance of tattoos, skin marks, and more. That's really cool. I like the packaging of that too. Ooh, cute. Okay, this is from Umbrell or Garnier. So we got a micellar water, which I love this stuff. I'm actually using this exact one right now. We got a, this is a sunscreen with tint to it. This is the SPF 60 
um, lotion, ultralight advance. And it's a tinted lotion. Micellar cleansing wipes. I actually just recently opened a package of these too. I really do like them. And then this is the SPF 60 ultralight new water resistant spray sunscreen. I'm going to the lake this weekend, so best be knowing I'm bringing some of this. And the packaging is mad, it's really cute. And then the fun thing they added in this was a sun hat and it says girls just want to have sun and it's black oh my god i love it i totally want to take an instagram picture of this maybe this weekend that's a really great idea actually to bring it to lake it's so cute i loves it not with a bun but it's really cute thanks garnier good morning friends it is the next day so it is wednesday and we finally got our information for this trip and we're actually taking a red eye tonight so that'll be fun. I haven't taken a red eye since I went to Montreal in like grade 10. Kind of swore I'd never do it again. So I'm like a sweaty mess trying to pack because like we were supposed to leave this morning so I guess this is kind of good. We get the whole day to like relax and sleep and then take off tonight and then arrive at our destination tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Woo. Okay. Anyway, besides the point, I'm packing, and this is what I'm packing, because we're literally flying in tomorrow morning, staying that one night, and then flying out that other evening. So, I don't really need to bring a lot, and if we're shopping, I want to have a little bit of room to bring stuff back, but we're only there for 48 hours. I didn't even think about the, like, fact that I probably can't bring anything back, because we're not there long enough. Cool. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I bought this jumper recently. This is my most recent purchase for the event, I think. I'm going to have to iron it once we get there because it is quite wrinkly here. And I have my black Steve Madden shoes that I'll probably wear with that. This is what I'll wear on the plane, like shirt, because I'm going to be sleeping, so I want to be comfortable. Strapless bra, bralette. I'm bringing black and white once I find the white one, but those will be the only bras I take. Socks. Um, this dress, I've actually, I still have the tag on it. It's from American Eagle. It's like a maxi dress, but I've never worn it, so I want to bring that. I tried it on and it looks pretty cute. Another striped thing. I wore this one in Vegas. Um, I'm not sure about this shirt, um, just because it's not the most most comfortable and if I'm doing like walking around and stuff I want to be super comfortable I'm actually not bringing a purse this time I'm gonna just bring a backpack a little backpack the one that I used in New Zealand because I want to have room for my camera and my you know this camera as well as well as like a water bottle you know different things like that so I'm gonna bring a backpack I'm gonna wash my shorts today so I can bring these and um Great, Noodle, thank you. And I don't know what shirts I'm going to bring to go with the jeans. I don't even know if I'll end up wearing them, but they're nice to have as a backup. So, yeah, I'm just trying to work kind of like in outfits right now rather than just pieces because if I have actual outfits planned, it's going to be a lot easier. I am going to use my packing pouches and different things like that for my dresses and stuff that I don't want potential spills on. So I'm going to do that with these. 